Welcome to our video on optimizing data reading in R. Today we're tackling a fascinating question. Is base R actually faster than the reader package for reading multiple CSV files? Our viewer has a hefty task ahead, needing to read in and bind over 5,000 CSV files into a single data frame. The viewer has followed discussions online and implemented several methods to load their data. Surprisingly, they found that base R outperforms reader and d methods in terms of speed. But why is that? Let's dive into the details and uncover the reasons behind these performance discrepancies. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, let's get ready to try and work through to that resolution, and remember to just stay a little bit crazy, just like me. Now, let's continue on. In this video, we will explore why base R is faster than the reader package for reading multiple CSV files. Let's start by understanding the structure of our CSV files. We have four methods to read and bind these CSV files into a single data frame. Let's look at the first method using base R. Next, we will examine the second method using the read CSV function from the reader package. This method involves creating a wrapper function Now let's look at the third method, which combines read CSV with DeepLar's bind rows function. This approach is often recommended for its efficiency. Finally, we will consider the data.table method, which is known for its speed. However, we still need to understand why the read CSV methods are slower in terms of elapsed time. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To merge multiple CSV files in Unix, first navigate to the folder containing your files. Use the command cat csv merge merge csvsvatop to combine them. However, this will include headers from each file. To avoid duplicate headers, First extract the header from the first file using header 2 file one csv merge merge csv file.csv. Then skip the header in the other files with tail dot plus nine q file.csv merge csv file csv. The tail n plus three command starts printing from the third line, while nish q suppresses file names in the output. The in operator appends to the file instead of overwriting it. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The user encountered a challenge with nested CSV data from simulations, which required extensive parsing. Initially, using map with read CSV took hours. However, switching to read CSV in a Lambda function drastically reduced the time to just seconds. They speculate that there might be an intermediate system I.O. operation or error handling issue causing a bottleneck when processing multiple files, unlike with a single input file. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. 
I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.